What about a safety pin? You'll come to know by the end of this video. Today on the event of Gandhi Jayanti, I remembered and I wanted to share an incident from my school days. Rahul Dravid, a popular Indian cricketer, was scheduled to play a match in Mysore. One of my friends who was Rahul Dravid's avid fan sketched a plan to go to the match. I, my friend and another friend with her brother, we four went to see the match. During the match, while in the crowd, I was standing safely next to my friend's brother, while my two other friends were dispersed in the crowd. I faintly remember the match was a good one. So when we four got together after the match, I expected my Rahul Dravid fan friend to go gaga about his performance. To my surprise, she told a story. Another kind of story though. She told how she had to use this exact safety pin to protect herself from the misbehaviors of the guys in the crowd. Yes, you guessed it right. One man in the crowd of the age of a grandfather had tried to touch her inappropriately. And this girl had opened up a safety pin, held it like a knife, grabbed the man's hand and drived it straight into his hand. Wow, that was something brave of a 14 to 15 year old girl. I was stunned, just like you. I was stunned so much so that I remembered I had to face such incidents in my own family. And I was naive to even recognize that it was wrong thing. I vaguely remember she mentioned that it was Gandhiji who told, safety pen is a women's secret weapon. Research turned out that Gandhiji had said nothing like that. But this incident was an eye-opener to me. Five years later, these learnings came to my rescue. I was in college by then and was traveling from Mysore to Bangalore for a project work in a KSRTC bus. A man who introduced himself as a lawyer took seat next to me. He got friendly with me, asked what I was doing, where I was going, blah, blah, blah. After a coffee break, I noticed that he kept his bag between us and kind of felt he was trying to touch me from behind the bag. It was then. I don't know what got into me. I opened the safety pin and kept on turning like this and looked straight in his eyes and kept the safety pin like this until the bus stopped in Bangalore. And the man got down. I'm sure he gave me a second look from down the road. Oof, what a relief I felt. A relief that that man is no more sitting next to me, but a relief, a feeling of the power I felt for standing up for myself. I remembered my friend and thanked them silently. I thanked them because just like that, they had empowered me. Maybe that's what we women do. We share our experiences and we empower each other. Today, off late, when we speak of women's security and safety, and today when we celebrate the birthday of two great political leaders who emphasized on women's safety, M.K. Gandhi and Lal Bahadur Shastri, with this video, I want to ask you all a question. Given a chance, would those two political leaders would be happy to come to our current India? What do you think? While the men think about it, for the ladies, I wanted to say some excerpts from Gandhiji's sayings. Gandhiji said, when a woman is assaulted, she may not stoop to think in terms of himsa or ahimsa. Her primary duty is self-protection. She is at the liberty to employ every method or means that comes to her mind in order to defend her honor. God has given her nails and teeth. She must use them with all the strength and if need be, die in the effort. These excerpts can be found in mkgandhi.org under the section Crime Against Women. I wish and I hope that no girl, child or a woman has to face such situations again. But remember, our own father or our father of nation would have told these things for the best of us. Maybe keeping a small tool like a safety pin would come in handy. Take care.